Hello, 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 Kingdom Influencers. Welcome back. It is day number 10, and we are so very, very excited to be back with you again. We hope you have enjoyed the challenges this week. We are almost halfway through our challenge, and we thank you for your perseverance and sticking around. Our theme for today is one, two, three, priority. And today our task is going to be to prioritize the most important things. Um, again, if you're just now joining in and you have not participated in the previous days, please go to our website at www.mykingdominfluence.com or on our YouTube or our Facebook page, and you can find out more about the other days. Um, but again, to bring you kind of up to speed, we're on day number 10, and each day we have a challenge. And our challenge today is, again, a very simple, simple task of servitude. And so in order to prioritize things in life, you have to know what's important in life. And one of my favorite, favorite things uh, to have heard as an educator is uh, a saying that goes something like this. 100 years from now, it will not matter what was in your bank account what kind of home you uh, lived in, or what kind of car you drove, but that the world would be better because you were important in the life of a child. Now, many of you out there might not be educators like me, and that's okay, because this really is important to all of us. You know, there's a slogan, an African proverb that says, it takes a village to raise a child. And so today our task is to give back to a child. It does not have to be anyone, um, you know, strange. It could be someone in your family, someone in an organization that you belong to, um, in your ministry. But the whole goal is imparting and pouring in to our youth. How many of you all agree with me? Our youth is our future. And so what I want you to do along with that, though, is start thinking about what kinds of servitude do I want to give back? That's the most important thing. And we look at Jesus' life. Jesus was a server. He was a servant leader. And we want to be servant leaders. And so how can I give back um, again to a child? But the challenge is to also think about something that you want to do in the next 12 months that's going to give back to your community, again, to the same specific child or organization or something, again, that you're pouring out of your heart. And that's where it all is. That's where it stems from. And so yesterday we asked you to talk about, you know, I care. Today we're going to take it a little bit deeper and impart into the life of a youth and then come up with a long-term 12-month goal, something that you want to accomplish within the next 12 months that helps you in the way of servitude. Because when you open up your hands and give, guess what? You're able to be blessed. Again, we hope you're enjoying this. We are on John chapter 10. We hope you've read it already. If not, please make sure you read it um, before you go to bed, as well as if you're participating in the fast. Uh, we are just excited to have you part of any one of those three options. But make sure you go back and look at the options because we did change it for week two and week three. Again, thank you for being a part of the 21 Day Kingdom Influence Challenge. Hope this is blessing you as much as it is blessing me. God bless you until our next time. Bye-bye.